Hello my beautiful Leos and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. Clear. I am going to be doing a reading for all of my beautiful Leos, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising signs for the month of April 2021. Although as we know time is fluid so whenever you find this is the perfect time for you. This is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what fits and leave the rest. And let's see what energy we have going on for my beautiful lions and lionesses this month. April 2021. What is going on? What energies do we have for Leo? Okay. All right. So we have the Ace of Cups coming out as your first card. So there's some beautiful energy. And then we also have the Seven of Cups. And so I'm feeling like... A, there's a, there's a little bit of confusion come, going on right now. There's maybe many options when it comes to love happening for you guys, or just a lot going on in general. And I feel like, uh, yeah, then we have the Six of Cups pleasure. So there's a lot of really good stuff going on for you guys, but I feel and a lot of fulfillment, like you're, you're experiencing a lot of fulfillment this month, but it may be slightly overwhelming just because it's so good. It's almost like when things are this good, there's that tendency to uh, just to, to feel a little bit overwhelmed. Let's get a little more energy out here. Yes, so we have seven, the seven of pentacles and the nine of cups. And in this, and this deck, the Seven of Pentacles is failure, okay? But I certainly don't look at it that way. Uh, but what I feel like this is, is that you guys, you had a period where you had to reevaluate what it was that brought you joy and happiness because you really wanted this Nine of Cups, but you perhaps weren't experiencing it all in all areas of your life. So you had to kind of take inventory of things and decide where you wanted to go. And there may have been things that didn't work out Things that you realize were not were not uh, weren't in alignment with you that you had to release and let go of, and even though that felt painful at the time, there, it brought an incredible happiness for you because it made more space in your life, a lot more space. If the Seven of Cups is any indication, all right, and then we got the Knight of Cups, okay. And so I was trying not to, like, we, it's not always about love, right? But uh, for some of you guys, it may be, there may be some love coming in for you with this Knight of Cups energy. Uh, there may be, maybe a lot of people coming in for you guys with it, with that Seven of Cups too. Uh, let's see, we got the Queen of Swords here. We got the Five of Swords. And then we have, we have the Eight of Wands, all right? So yeah, some energy coming in pretty quickly for you guys, but we do have the sun on the bottom of the deck, just throwing that out there, all right? Uh, possibly this energy, when it comes in, it comes in rather quickly, I think, uh, especially if this is a person coming into your reality. Uh, I feel like you're not really, I mean, look at this Queen of Swords. She's just like lounging, titties out. Just uh, super relaxed, chilling on her cloud. You know what I mean? She's really not trying to be bothered. And so I feel like when this comes in, that may be your kind of attitude. You're just laying back like, what? I, I don't know about this. Like, do you see all of this incredible stuff I have going in my life? I don't know if I have room for this right now. Uh, there's this energy of like you having been victorious and not really sure if you want to bring in any energy that's going to sort of turn around or sort of uh, kind of get in the way of your flow is sort of what I'm feeling. But then we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Ace of Discs. And we have the Four of, what is that? Four of Swords, all right? So that's true. So that's also healing, okay? And still the sun on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like no matter what happens, nobody can really, nobody can really mess with your flow right now. You have three aces out on the table right now. That is big energy. All right. This is incredible energy for you guys. So there's just new cycles in passion and spirituality and fulfillment in love, in finance and wealth and all of the physical things, right? <clears throat> And so there may, and there's incredible healing coming in with this Four of Swords card, right? Uh, for some people with this truce energy, I am feeling like there may be somebody who comes in offering, 
offering some sort of truth, somebody that you had some difficulties with in the past, and that's going to be up to you whether you want to accept that or not. And you can forgive, right? You can, you can accept an apology, something like that, without having to go back into a situation. And so you guys may, des may decide to do that. Let's get some more on this truth card. Tell me about, tell me about the four swords. All right, so we have art, which is temperance, and we have futility, seven of swords. Okay. And so what I'm feeling like here is that there's there's a situation that's wanting to to change forms. There's something that's wanting to change forms, right? Something that's wanting to be alchemized here. Tell me a little more. Yeah, I don't know if we're taking that. Uh, okay. All right. So we got the Fool. We have the Two of Cups. Or Yep. And we have the Four of Pentacles. All right. Which is power in this deck. So, yeah, there's something that's wanting to be changed, wanting to change forms. Something that you may have felt futile in the past. It may have felt like uh, no matter how much you put energy you put into it, it just wasn't bearing any fruit. And it, it just wasn't worth your time and your effort. But now I really feel this energy wanting to switch, wanting to, tr um, wanting to be transmuted and turned into something else, turned into something new. And with this, with this two of cups, right, which is love and the power card, it's like you may be, there may be, uh, what I feel like is that this isn't necessarily even to do with a person. This is you. This is you realizing and understanding how love can bring you power. How in the past, like maybe you felt like love took your power away. And now you're finding a way that you can, you can love and you can allow that to strengthen you instead of weakening you. I feel like you felt like love weakened you in the past. Any other energy here? And then we have the two of pentacles change. And we have the empress and the five of cups here. Okay, and the empress is looking like she wants to be inverted. I don't always read reversals here. Um, tell me a little more. An adjustment. Yeah. So there's, there's more change coming for you. I guys feel like you guys have been experiencing a lot of changes. And uh, sort of like something didn't, with these cards the way they are, something didn't bear fruit. Like we said, something didn't work out. There were, was a level of disappointment. But that disappointment, honest, uh, ultimately, was the adjustment that you needed. Like whatever, whatever happened needed to happen so that things could be adjusted. So that you could end up with your happiness. And now that you have your happiness, I feel like that happiness is just attracting uh, more and more happiness for you. Any more cards here? Yes. All right. So we have the Aeon, which I believe is, what is this? Judgment, I do believe. Yeah. Yep. Anything else here? And then we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah. So whatever this was, whatever this interference was, whatever this thing was that didn't work out, it ultimately really um, helped you to wake up and make the adjustments that you needed to make in order to, to uh, reach your happiness and um, abundance, right, on the bottom of the deck which is beautiful. So just keep moving in that direction. Just keep moving in that direction and really trust in yourself and your ability to your ability to succeed, your ability to like I feel like this is an energy that's really telling you that you can have it all. You can have it all. You just want to make sure that you you take into account the things that you've learned and that you don't you don't give away your power. Like you know that you 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 hold that, you hold your power um, firmly within your grasp, right? Like you don't forget that, you don't lose sight of that. And you understand when you are firmly anchored in who and what you are, when you know your truth and you live your truth and you stand in your integrity, you can, like anything, 
nothing has to detract from that. Everything that comes into your reality can only add to that, right? And it's like a lot of energy that's going to be adding for you guys. I'm wanting to actually grab a couple clear keepers of the light cards. Let's get some uh, closing guidance for Leo here for the month of April. I feel like for you guys, it's almost like there, there's a, there's some times here where you almost feel guilty because you feel so good because things are going so well for you. Uh, but don't because you've earned that. So really allow yourself to enjoy that. Allow you. It's almost like there's, I feel like there's a part of you that's thinking like, can it really be this easy? It's like, you know that it can, you know that it's meant to, right? But at the same time, you're just like, I don't know. I almost, I'm not sure if I can trust this. And so what do we have coming out here? We have Gaia Earth Connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth and stay grounded. So you guys really being called to connect with nature this month. To really work on grounding yourselves, grounding your energies, and uh, really harmonizing yourself with the planet. And then we have White Eagle Ancestor Spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. And so some ancestral healing as well. That's something that you guys, you guys may be looking into is... How, what what family wounds or patterns are you healing for your ancestors? Some of you guys are healing these in your family right now. Like whatever is going on in your family at this moment is helping to heal those patterns for your ancestors and for your lineage. And so just pay attention to what's coming up around that. Uh, yeah. Any other guidance here? And then we have Archangel Michael coming out for you. Trusting heaven, you are safe, angels stand close, surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So that's this energy of like, don't stress out, like accept your blessings, accept your abundance, right? Don't get caught up in this energy where you are stressing out over your blessings or you're second guessing them or you're feeling like, uh, like, uh, like the other shoe's going to drop at any moment. Like do not allow yourself to get pulled into that energy of stress and worry. Uh, there are multiple miracles occurring for you right now. So just continue allowing those to happen and continue to know that if there are any more situations that come up that are causing you confusion or stress, just know and understand that like the angels are, are guiding your every step. They are watching over you. They are they are like forming this beautiful shield of energy around you, all right? And so you don't have to worry. You don't have to stress. You can trust the blessings that are coming into your reality now. And you can trust your ability to hold those to uh, and to discern, uh, to discern those blessings when they arrive. And then we have Lord Shiva on the bottom of the deck, Transcendence. Rise up, honor your inner four steps are being given. Dance with the universe. All right. Yes. Beautiful. Follow the steps as they are given. Really connect. Connect with the earth. Connect with your lineage. Connect with your inner force. Uh, some of you may be getting into uh, kundalini, working with your kundalini energy. Just any ways that you are honoring and working with your inner life force. Some of you guys may be working, like we said, the kundalini, the sexual energy, all of that. Um, whatever it is, however you're being called to honor your, your life force, your shakti energy, any of that stuff, like work with that, enjoy that, right? Utilize a lot of movement, a lot of dance, yoga. Like I'm seeing you guys physically moving and also physically anchoring, right? So like doing like yoga with your bare feet on the earth, stuff like that going to be really good for you guys. And just really, uh, just pay attention to the steps. Your angels are standing close and they're guiding you through everything right now. So if you pay attention, all of the, your steps will be, you will be sto shown the steps to take, right? And once you start dancing with the universe, it's like you will flow with that and you will just automatically be taking the steps, right? Without even thinking about it, without even waiting to be shown, you will become so connected with yourself, with spirit, with source, that you are just naturally taking those steps and it's happening effortlessly. So just allow yourself to fall into the flow of that. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous energy. I'm so excited for you guys. If you want any assistance with this, uh, tapping into this, uh, 
anything at all, my email's in the description box below. Please reach out to me. I do personal readings. I do really powerful energy healings. I do uh, theta healing where we can work on belief systems. We can work on opening you up to this abundance. Any limiting beliefs or blocks that are standing in the way of you really being able to embrace this and to embrace your connection. We can work on the lineage, anything and everything. Uh, so yes, uh, reach out to me if you'd like. If you like this video, like this video and drop a comment. And let me know if it resonated. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful April.